12 beers of Christmas. We are in the basement of Thomas Liquors. I thought it would be fun to do one of these with Fitty, who is my new partner kind in crime. Kind of right hand guy. It's very odd. Like, always oh, stay to your right. Yep. Yeah. And then. But you get to use my glass. Joe! Use my glass. Joe Fakowski from Cheers. Shells Brewing slash Shells Beer. Shells, Shells Beer, yeah. Brewery. Shells Brewery, yeah. Got a lot of like. August Shells Brewing Company. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey Joey, did you know that's my real first name? August? <laughs> it's Joe. Oh, I know that. Oh, all right. Cheers to Joe. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, welcome, you guys. We are drinking a cave aged, barrel aged dark lager? Yes, dark lager. Mm -hmm. uh, it is true to ourselves. I mean, we're not going to go out and pretend that we're a Russian Imperial Stout kind of brewery. Um, we brew lagers. We make, you know, some of the best in the land. and. Um, the funny, I mean, so it's, I, we have to be the only cave-aged, barrel-aged brand out there. I have never done the research. Maybe I should. C A B A S. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and right. so the story goes, uh, we were doing some construction on the brewery. This is uh, very recently, within the last 10 years. Um, and we knocked down a wall and found some of the old brewing caves uh, back in the, in the in, in, uh, put inside the hill. And there, and it's, I was, since you, if you see them, you understand, but it, they've been filled in. So it's not, you know, we don't have the nice height that we have like this. It's kind of, you gotta. Is it like super scary? Crouch down. It's not that scary. It's actually, that's not even that big. It's smaller than down here. Um, yeah. But it's, it's, uh, <laughs> Small. it's built into the side of the hill. Yeah. And it's, you can see the arches, archways with stone archways and stuff, but it's filled in with dirt. And, um, our brewmaster at the time uh, had an idea he wanted to do barrel aged beers. So, what a great spot. Let's put beer in barrels, put them in the cave so they're cave aged in our old brewing caves and they're barrel aged in those caves. Yeah. Hey, Joey, is that where they used to lager the beers then? Yes. Yeah. Way back when. That's and so it is, cool. And it's on the backside of our cellar. So you have to go through our through our existing cellar and walk through the tanks and then there's this little like wow. little entryway to this. Oh, that seems super cool. This back, yeah, it's you know, now now we've got this wonderful thing, thing called refrigeration and we can Ooh. we can control the yeah. fermentation temperatures. Oh, funny that. <laughs> so um, and a fun thing is too is down there it's, a uh, fun thing yeah. is um, we have to learn. <laughs> the, the dead we're, learning, found. we're learning all the other things that are down there, like uh, <laughs> uh, all the different wild yeasts and stuff. So we've oh uh, we've, we've had um, some years, like last year, we uh, last year we had a real shortage on this beer because um, we had some inf uh, infections in some of the barrels. Oh, so we just had to yeah. dump it. It wasn't worth you know, it wasn't worth keeping. It's not um, on point with what we were trying to do. Um, so we dumped about half of it. So, I want to say, um, Ouch. two years. Sorry, that might have been two years ago, and we didn't even actually have package out. It was only draft. Um, and then this year, we've, you know, our, our brew team has done a lot uh, to try and curb that. So we've come up with, we've done some new processes that we've not, uh, we haven't done before with them. Where now we're uh, we're able, like this year, we've got like a full yield. We actually got more than the yield, the angel share that we were mm. anticipating mm. didn't evaporate off. So we actually got more, a little bit more than we had planned. So that was good news for me when they told me we were going to have a couple extra kegs. And maybe yeah. cases to sell the retailers for God's sake. No, no, no. We packed, we packaged enough retail. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. Hey, yeah. Put it on tap in the basement down here. Yeah, right. I'll come visit you every week. <laughs> These are aged in. Uh, every year we do different. Uh, we work through barrel. Uh, Barrel brokers and whatever, and um, this year these are aged in. Uh, this is aged in Templeton rye barrels. So oh, the first man. year we did it was in Jack Daniels. So those, uh, if you got a ch chance of that first ones, they were pretty. <laughs> get you. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so Joey, every year the barrels can be different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the base base beers uh, base beers, uh, f from my knowledge, is, is pretty much the same. They may tweak a thing here okay. or two. Um, it's I. Um, I don't want to like call Schwartz it stout. I was gonna say, yeah. I don't okay, want. Yeah. I, I don't want to call it a Baltic porter because it's just not. Oh, it's just there not, you go. It's yeah. not thick enough. I think it's just mm. a little thin in the body. Close, yeah. But like a like I would say like a like a Schwartz beer on crack. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it's when you get into those dark beers that happen to be lagers. And, yeah. Right, Baltic porter or just a regular porter, but it's not, but it's a per se a lager. Okay, so is it like a Doppelbach then? And but it's, yeah, it's, it doesn't have the body of that though. It still drinks mm -hmm, like a lager. Mm -hmm. Um, which makes it a lot different than 
um, say you, you know your your Russian Imperial Stouts that everyone kind of gravitates towards with putting into barrels. So mm-hmm. it's it's super unique, and I mean coming coming out of out of the bottle at ten and a half percent is like. Yeah. And hey Joey, do you uh, do you put it do you lager it after it goes into the barrel? Do you, does it goes in the barrel and then to the lager? No, the, the or vice it's finished. I, um, I believe it's finished in the barrels. Okay, so, so it's it's a lager that's going in the barrel. Yes, it's a and lager that goes you in. Like the but then an imperial stout. The, the temperature. It, I mean, it's it's not a temperature controlled environment either. So oh, okay, yeah, it is literally it's, like. In the cave, in the, the barrels, side of the hill, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So whatever the natural temperature is right. in there, and it, it is in like I want to say I've I've been in there. Um, I want to say ambient is like forties, fifties. Okay. So it's not yeah. year round. <clears throat> yeah. Really. That's it is, cool. Yeah, That's um, amazing. There's something like very. Like imperial stout about this, but not. And I think that's what loggers always mm-hmm. kind of pull on you. They're like, well, we cleaned it, we crisp it, we dropped yep. it all out. Now it's just. 70% of the things you thought you'd expect right. when all of a sudden, but it's all the I, I would be very interested to see the grain bill on this. I, I would be interested to see that to compare it to a uh, to an Imperial Stout um, or, you know, or something like a, something bigger and hardier, but like it is, it's, it's designed to be a lager and to, yeah. to drink, you know, to, to finish smooth and we do, we do lager it and it's, I mean, you can tell that, that finish is real clean, but you still pull all that that chocolate and vanilla and roast character to it, but it's but it's not overbearing on your palate. It's so. pretty cool because I think it's exactly that. It's like this is the lager version of a barrel aged imperial stout. Mm-hmm. You know, just lager, it's and, probably, and, and then just comes across as it's probably such. twice as dangerous too because it's no, oh, yeah, right. it, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> well, it is ten like, plus oh, percent. Yeah. In fact, what is the ABV on this, Joey? Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yep. Yeah. So just a little bit. What is the story of the caves on the backside of your modern fermentation cellar? Uh, we didn't know they were there. As far as I, as far as anybody can remember, you know, we didn't. At at one point when we took on modern technology and were able to have jacketed systems and all that, I'm sure that what they did is they walled it up, filled in the caves, and just said, "Hey, here's our new cellar." Because um, we absolutely used to hand um, hand carry ice from the the river, the Cottonwood River, down uh. up the hill to where our cellaring is, and we had our beer lagered in the cellars uh, or in the in the caves. You know, Joey, you don't look you don't look that old. Though. I wasn't there. Yeah, you were. You, know, you don't look that old. I was. Uh, you carry yeah. well. The oh. royal we, yeah, the royal, <laughs> the royal we. The right? royal we. <laughs> I'm part of the team. <laughs> um, we uh, uh, like they, I guess. Uh, I that's not a job I want. I would want to do. Like we've got pictures in the in the uh, of yeah. Of, oh sure. Of hand yeah, cutting. They've yeah. The they've, they're hand cutting with yep. the saw, and they've got the little crimper thing, and they yeah. and then they've got to pulley them up. They use horses, and they drag them up the hill. Jesus. And just, if you've been to the brewery, and you 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 know we've got a new deck off of the back of our new tap room mm-hmm. and a beer hall. And mm-hmm. if you look down, you can see the river. It's a, it's a d- decent distance away from where yeah. the actual like brewery is, but to think about carrying those huge blocks of ice up the hill and throwing them in the, you know, in the in the caves to sit for mm-hmm. the year because you yeah. have to wait till yeah. next year. I mean, right. they throw sawdust on there to keep them from evaporating, you know, okay. from melting yeah. and um, and all that. But they, they, I think when when we were able to move into the refrigeration era, mm-hmm. they just filled them up, walled it off, and said, "See you later." And then one day we were doing something, and they. Decided they were gonna knock into this wall, and all of a sudden you're like, "Hey, there's a room back here." Yeah. In <laughs> Falkowski, what I think is so cool as you're talking about this, and literally pulling ice blocks out of the river and hauling them up by by with horses and stuff like that, and putting it in, in caves, and that was your refrigeration. That was this brewery in today's age. A brewery, it's like, yeah, ah, we've been around for a while. It's been like five, <laughs> ten years. What? It was the second oldest brewery in the country, and that was your brewing stuff you had to deal with. Uh, remember, the Royal, you yeah. um, had to deal with. It's like, whoa, that's old. That's old brewing. Well, I, this isn't like, well, you know, 15 years ago when we started out and we didn't have crawler machines. 
No. Yeah, we're ancient. <laughs> this, this is so cool yeah. that, that you're still so making cool, relevant stuff. So it's like we've been through uh, multiple wars, like yeah. two, two, oh my God. two world wars, the Dakota right. uprising. Um, oh my we've God. We've been uh, through the civil, war, you know, the the civil war. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> we pre yeah we predate the That's civil war. That's <laughs> amazing. We oh my God. We, yeah. we predate Abraham Lincoln. Like, think about that. Think about that. That like, is our been right. around Put a timeline. From the day shells started, and then and now all the things that have happened, then. multiple pandemics oh now, and, yeah. and we've, we've, yeah. had to, we've, we've, we've had survived to deal multiple with it. pandemics. <laughs> so it's, so it's who uh, says that? I don't know. We're still here, so we actually, yep. you know, our, our our motto is "brew to endure, brew to endure." So yeah, it's I like, like that. That's we're we're here to, you know, we're here to stay, and that's we're gonna do everything we can to, you know, you know, tighten our bootstraps and work stick to, around for longer. Work to stick around, and I, you know, oh, it's like fifty years. You know, but we don't want to. It's the thing is, we don't want to lose who we are. That's why, like something like this is so awesome. Is mm. we're sticking with the logger base. It's still, it's still traditional. Like you, yep. you know, it. Um, you know, previously we've we've done IPAs. Like we did an IPA. Yeah. Well, we didn't use ale yeast. <laughs> oh. It was it was like our old okay. the old shells IPA was mm. was a logger. Is um, that right? Still logger yeast. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jace Marty, when he was our brewer at, at the time, he was like. We'd say IPA, and he would always in that in that Jace, my, Jace Marty smile. He would always go, "Still a logger, <laughs> still a logger." <laughs> um, so you know yeah. now, you know now we've got brands like our uh, Fresh Prince, which are a cold IPA, like logger, mm -hmm. logger, 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 logger. So mm -hmm. um, we'll stick to that. We don't, you know, we're not trying to kind of kind of lost our way here and there yeah. sometimes. Clearly, Chipper likes this beer. Yeah, apparently he's a uh, man. Either I'm way behind or. I think I talk a lot, so that's why I'm I talk behind. a lot, and I, like a fool, I'm listening to you, so. Stop <laughs> talking. Woo! Yeah. That's a great history, bro. It's a great history. This is pretty good. Nice. This is the first time I've had this. Really? I've never had what? any KVH. Yeah, I I've don't never know had if any we KVH can fires. be friends anymore. Well, no, 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 now we can. Let me think about it. Yeah, fine. Well, yeah, think about, think about it. Yeah, you're good. You're oh, good. my God. All right, all right, sweet. <laughs> oh, we're doing rules. All right, 12 beers of Christmas. 12 beers of right? Christmas. Thanks for coming, Joey. Hey. Thanks for having me. Cheers, everyone. It's so good.